Sorry, Obama, I'm a black man and I'm voting for Donald Trump for president and there is no amount of lecturing or bullying or shaming that you can do that is going to make me change that decision. I am not afraid to vote for Kamala Harris because she is a woman. I refuse to vote for Kamala Harris because she has spent the last four years destroying this country. She has spent the last four years throwing up the, the borders um, to illegal immigrants. She has spent the last four years destroying this economy. We have seen over the past couple of months that she is not fit to be president. She can barely speak. She can't articulate a vision. And actually, she's pretty stupid. And if you think that I, as a black man, am going to let that waltz into the White House, that that is going to get my vote because you're lecturing me and you're bullying me and you may be the surrogate black dad for a lot of fatherless black boys that are running around this country, but I got a dad, I know who he is and it ain't you. I'm voting for Donald Trump for president, take it or leave it, sorry Obama. Hello America and hello Georgia. I'm Vernon Jones, former state representative from the great state of Georgia. And I'm out doing my normal morning jog by the way, it's a great day to be in Georgia. It's a beautiful fall day. But anyhow, I just had to pause for the cause. I, like many of you, observed and listened and watched Barack Obama last night as he addressed black men. But as a black man, he did everything but address us. What he did, he berated black men, he rebuked black men, he even scolded black men, primarily because we will not fall in line and vote for Madam Lockup, her brother, Kamala Harris, because that's her record. As if black men are too stupid that we can't vote our self-interest, what's best for us, our pocketbook, our families. As if we've been immune to the past three and a half years, as if we don't know that gas prices have been higher under Kamala Harris, food prices higher under Kamala Harris, interest rates on home mortgages higher under Kamala Harris, and runaway borders under Kamala Harris. But you know what? That's what the liberal white Democratic Party did. They dispatched Barack Obama out there to whip black men back on the plantation to vote Democrat. And you know, President Obama, he meant a lot to black people, but he didn't do anything for black people. And for him to want to come down from his mansion in Martha's Vineyard and tell black men how we should vote, really? You don't even live in Chicago anymore. You left your black community, Barack Obama, and you want to tell us how to vote? We're not having that, and we're not voting for Kamala Harris. Well, so I'm C.J. Pearson, one of the young black men that President Obama yesterday tried to lecture into supporting Kamala Harris just because she, quote, looks like him. Now, guys, I don't know about y'all, but I think that my ancestors fought far too hard for my right to vote in this country for me to support someone just because they look like me. Especially when that person who looks like me doesn't give a damn about me. Kamala Harris throughout her entire political career hasn't done a single thing for black people, black men, or anyone actually for that matter. She failed to secure the border. She hasn't created a single job. She is actually probably uniquely terrible at her job. Barack Obama, another person who didn't do a damn thing for black people when he was president, believes that black men should set aside our disagreements, set aside our grievances, and just take one for the team. Barack, we've been taking one for the team when it comes to supporting the Democrat Party for decades. And what do we have to show for? Our inner cities are destroyed. Violent crime is up. We are living in poverty in far many, too many communities across this country. That is the reality of progressive policies in this country and all across America. So no, Barack, I'm not gonna support Kamala Harris because you said that that is my duty as a young black man. No, I'm gonna support Donald Trump, the president who actually delivered for black people, probably about the lowest black unemployment rate in our nation's history. The president who actually gave a damn about our community. That's not rocket science, Barack, it's common sense.